In this short uh, video, I'm going to run through and show you where all the uh, menus are, how they work. I'd like to uh, orientate you to uh, this, the, the general working environment uh, to Archicad. Um, the term working environment is just uh, referring to where all the palettes and things are on the screen. Now, um, one of the things about Archicad is that it remembers the work environment from one computer to another. Now, that's quite handy when you're working on your own machine because once you set up your working environment, um, it will stay that way. You can customize where things are on the screen and I will show you um, where everything is and how it works. But firstly, I just want to point out that um, you may not, if in a uh, educational situation, um, the work environment may uh, change. So students may move a palette from one place to the other and that might stay there. So what I want to do is firstly show you um, how to um, set your working environment back to a standard uh, standard setting uh, just in case your computer that you're looking at is not exactly the same as mine. So the firstly what I want to do is just point out that uh, if you do want to set your work environment back to a standard setting you need to go to the options menu you need to go to work environments and work environment here um, make sure you go right up the top and click work environment profiles and you may not have these I'll show you later on or at some stage how to create your own work environment if you want to customize but please uh, double click where it says standard profile 16 and apply and then just say OK and then uh, not much has happened to mine because mine's already in a standard profile but then your computer should look exactly the same as mine so uh, we can all start off at the same place um, okay so this is the um, once you install Archicad and um, Archicad is up and running this is the way this is the default setting it should open up to so I'll just run through where things are and how things work um, I think I said in the last video or some videos ago that um, what we this the standard uh, um, interface or the most common way that we start using Archicad is in that plan orientated environment and this what this is here uh, we have a plan orientated view we're looking down on top of what we're we're going to build digitally think of it a little bit like a um, I guess a, a three-dimensional workshop we have a plan view the grids by the way uh, if you roll the mouse wheel in and out you'll notice that you zoom in and out um, each one of these grids in a standard format is one by one meter so it gives you an idea of how close you are uh, or how big how much you've zoomed in um, let's have a look at some of the other things this one here is the uh, main toolbar that you have and if you grab it by the blue area I can drag it that out um, and on a PC it works a little bit differently on a Mac on a PC you can just drag it back and it just automatically snaps back into place uh, but this uh, think of it again I guess like a toolbox you have all the things that you use to build uh, your model we have two selecting tools an arrow tool and a marquee and I'll run through those in a moment and then here from uh, where it says design uh, from this bit from this arrow all the way down to this arrow we have a whole lot of three-dimensional tools these are tools for creating objects in Archicad so we have a wall tool um, and you'll notice as I'm clicking each tool 
uh, this toolbar at the top changes and I'll talk about that in a moment uh, we have a wall tool, door, window, and you notice if you hover your mouse over each element, a little information uh, palette comes up, tells you what the tool is. Column tool, beam. So they're all architectural elements that we build the model with. We've got a slab, stairs, roof. Um, the shell tool is used for a number of different things, complex shapes, um, but we can, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll run through at some stage and look at that. Skylights, curtain wall, um, if you're familiar with commercial construction, curtain wall construction is the typical glass sort of skyscraper that you see. There's a special tool for those things. The morph tool, um, it allows you to create and change the shape of existing elements into more customized or organic shapes. Got a tool that connects us to a standard library called the object tool, and I will demonstrate that zone tool. Um, I won't spend too much time, but it, you basically create areas that you can define in ArchiCAD for a number of different reasons. Um, one of those being um, thermal thermal reasons for air conditioning or for um, uh, sustainable design. A mesh tool. We commonly use the mesh to create a site or a block of land but you can create use the mesh for other things as well and then from here down um, we have more two-dimensional tools for adding uh, information to your models um, so dimensions level dimensions text labels fills lines circles polylines um, there's a tool for creating drawings so once we create a model we'll be able to make views and take those views onto drawings and other things like that a tool for creating sections elevations internal elevations and a number of other drawings that we can create there's a more button uh, we can create grids for uh, different types of work uh, there's a little add-on for walls that will add different shapes to walls. Corner windows, lights and lamps. One of the reasons ArchiCAD is used a lot for theatre design, stage design, is because it has quite extensive lighting that we can apply to our models. Um, radial dimensioning, angle dimensions, splines, which are sort of curved lines. Um, hot spots, which gives points that we can use a bit like construction lines on a drawing board we can use spots that we can and figures uh, for manipulating importing photos and things like that and the camera tool we use the camera tool for a number of things but one of the major things is for animations and things like that now you might have noticed as I was going down the tools that this box here was changing. This is what is referred to as the info box. Can have a, it can have a number of different shapes. So I can, you notice if I snap it back in here, it goes vertical. I can snap it back horizontally. Uh, and just like the toolbox, it will uh, snap horizontally into place. Okay. Um, so the info box is basically. Um, as I select each tool, it gives me a number of different ways I can use that tool. So for example, the wall tool, I can click and hold. So where you see a little arrow there, I can click and hold that. So I can draw single walls. I can, uh, and I'll spend a bit of time on using each tool, but I can use polygon walls. So every time I click the mouse, I can change direction and a double click will drop that wall yeah um, curve walls and there's a number of different types of those uh, so I can uh, draw radial walls like that if I uh, double click I can draw a full circle um, and you know there's a number of, there's three pointed arches and uh, so I can uh, you know draw curves like that 
And there's a different types of walls, but I'll go into that a bit later. Um, these are what I call the active edge of the wall. You notice as I start to draw uh, the line that I'm using uh, to draw the wall, so I'll go to a straight wall. The line that I'm drawing can be either at the centre, uh, in this case it'll be at the top, in this case at the bottom. Yeah? And that has implications on the wall. Um, if I, um, and by the way, if you hit escape too, you can drop, drop that line as you work. If I roll the mouse over the info box, you notice that it rolls across from left to right and it gives me all the different characteristics of walls. So you've got to remember that in ARCHICAD it looks like you're drawing in 2D but in actual fact you're giving the walls heights and materials and other things like that. And you can get to all those settings in the info box by rolling the mouse up and down which scrolls left to right through the info box. I won't cover all of these things, but we will look at them from uh, in other tutorials. We then have a navigator palette. The navigator palette uh, runs through all the different um, views that are available to you in ARCHICAD. And some of these, uh, we have stories, which are all the plan views. You might have extra ones there that you look at. Sections, elevations, uh, when these are populated with drawings or images, they have a little plus or minus sign next to them. So some of yours might have those and you can open those up. And so I can jump now, for example, from a plan view to a three-dimensional view by uh, clicking, say, this one, axonometric. And what it will do is automatically jump to a 3D view. I can then jump back to a floor plan by double clicking the plan view. Okay. Um, I won't go into some of these views, uh, these uh, dialog boxes too much, but if you happen to accidentally click any of these X's, the boxes will disappear. Okay. Don't fret. All you need to do is just like I showed you before at the beginning of the tutorial. Go to the Options menu, down to Work Environments, Work Environment Profiles, remember right up the top of this thing, and double click Standard Profile. Okay, what that will do, if I click Apply and OK, is bring back all the menus just like you see on the screen. Okay, so I would suggest you have a good play with that, just get familiar with where things are. Uh, you might want to have a play with the tools and I'll spend a bit of time looking at how more of these tools work in a moment. Thanks.